Oh, this is a great one. This is one that you can pick up in a toy store. It's the Darth Vader sword. And it's so good to teach you how to hold that power, store up that power, that delayed hit that we call it in golf. Now, if you don't get your hands correctly on the club, let's just imagine the Darth Vader sword as a club. Let's say you get an incorrect grip, and you, let's say you're really strong with this hand, and you get up, and your wrists are in this position. When you come down, all that energy is going to expand out on your way down, and you're not going to have any stored up to play into the shot. Or if maybe you get a real weak grip this way, and your wrist gets up at the top like this, and then you come down, Look at that, it all opens up, all that energy goes out. But if you have the correct grip and the correct 90 degree angle, then as you make your move, you can turn that hip and that angle will be retained. Look at that. Boom, that's where you want to be. All the great players are there. And then when you do release that energy, watch what happens. Boom, it's right on out towards the hole. That's what you want. Cock those wrists, start with the legs. Boom, the energy is going straight out towards the hole. And that's where the power comes from. Now, if I use a driver, I'm going to show you that same power. You simply set up to the ball. You've practiced your Darth Vader drill. Set it up there. Do a couple like this. See, hold that energy. And then release through the ball. Just like that. And that's how you get that energy at the back of that ball. You store it up, and then you release it. And you feel your way to better golf.